Good afternoon, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. Today we're going to have a walk around our beautiful 2010 Mitsubishi Triton GLR. Finished in black now, it is a little bit dirty, it could do with a wash, but um, what you will note, the nice distinctive chrome Mitsubishi grille on the front, factory nudge bar there as well. Um, no real signs of any stone chipping or marks on the front bar or the bonnet for that matter. Being a black vehicle, if there were, they would stand out. As we come round onto the driver's side now, we do have our indicator lens in the front guard. We've got a great condition tyre on the front on an unmarked alloy wheel. If I want to be really, really picky, there's a little bit of scuffing just by the indicator there, but very, very minor, and we do like to be very critical when making these videos. Now, we've got the chrome Triton badging on the door. We've got the black wing mirrors that tie in nicely with the black body. We've got our factory uh, running boards down there as well. Moving through the two doors, again, the paintwork is great condition. That was just a wee bit of dust. As we come down towards the back, we do have a low-line canopy with roof rails up there as well. Great condition tyre on the back with another unmarked alloy wheel. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle now, we've got a so, uh, sorry, step on the bottom there, which is just above the factory fitted tow bar. We've got our distinct chrome Mitsubishi badge, DID common rail, the GLR badging, Triton badging down the bottom. We'll jump inside the canopy shortly, but as you can see, looks great. Moving down the passenger side now, this is the side generally, if there were to be any damage, this is where we'd find it. The back of the tub does present in great condition. We've got another great tyre on the back with an unmarked alloy wheel. One thing I do like to note on the diesel vehicles is this bit of rubber around here. Now it tells me a careful owner they haven't knocked the diesel pump around the filler or they haven't spilt any diesel and had that rubber pop out. As we come down the passenger side again, stunning example, really, really struggling to find any marks whatsoever and usually you can pick one or two but I'm, I'm really struggling with this one front of the vehicle now on the wheel again unmarked alloy wheel great condition tyre so the exterior of this Triton presents beautifully all right back around to the front of the vehicle now we'll pop open the bonnet and have a look at what powers this down the road nice easy bonnet stay pops that up out of the way I will note the rubber trim here and the perfect condition lining on the top of the bonnet now what you're looking at engine wise is a four cylinder 2.5 litre direct injected common rail diesel that's going to give 100 kilowatts of power and 314 newton metres of torque. Put that with the four wheel, uh, sorry, four speed two wheel drive automatic transmission and you'll get on average 8.6 litres to the 100 k's which out of the 75 litre fuel tank will give you 872 kilometre range pure tank of diesel. Right back around to the rear of the vehicle now, we touched on it before, it does have the factory fitted tow bar, capable of towing two and a half tonnes brake. As you'll see, no big marks on the back of the tailgate, has been looked after extremely well. If I want to be really, really, really picky, there's one tiny little mark there, but very, very minor. Now, simple release of the latch there, we'll pop the lid up out of the way, and then we can just pull the handle and drop that down. It reveals a virtually unmarked tub liner in the back of this vehicle. The side windows do pop out sideways, and you will notice that the roof lining in the canopy is carpeted and does have a light. So no expense spared when putting the canopy onto this vehicle. All right, inside the Triton now, quite a nice place to be. Um, nice, tidy condition interior. Doesn't really have any damage whatsoever. Started on the driver's door, we've got our four power window controls and our lock button for the power windows. Nice, tidy door trim. No real signs of marks or anything on here either. Moving into the dash now, we've got our electric mirror controls and our active stability control on and off button. As we move up and into the speedo cluster instrument area, we've got our speedo right in front of us, 100 k's an hour right at the top, tachometer to the left, and our temperature and fuel gauge over to the right. The vehicle's currently showing 137, 193 k's. So pretty reasonable k's 
on the edge of the vehicle. As we move through, we'll come down. So leather wrap steering wheel. On the right hand side, we've got our indicators headlights. And on the left hand side, we've got our window wiper controls. Also, the vehicle is fitted with factory cruise control, which is nice and easy to use and just mounted conveniently on the right hand side of the steering wheel. Now, as we move through and into the middle, there are a couple of minor marks on the dash just up in here. Very minor. And if we got our detailer to have a look, she might even be able to improve them. Coming through, we've got the factory fitted Mitsubishi head unit. Does have auxiliary, Bluetooth, um, hand three for your phone, USB, CD, AM, FM radio. So a lot of features and is MP3 compatible. Coming down from there, we've got all our air conditioning controls, temperature, fan speed, where the air should go, recirculation or fresh air. Down from that, we've got a wee tray here, which you can keep your phone, that sort of thing in. 12 volt socket just below that which the cigarette lighter has never been used by the looks of that one compartment in here to keep your coins in and another storage compartment there as well we've got our automatic transmission there nice and easy to use pop it in d for drive we do have an overdrive button on the side as well as we come down now we've got our handbrake our two cup holders and a storage compartment under the lid with a secondary deeper storage compartment as well. Now having a pan around the interior of the vehicle does present great condition. Take note of the quality of the seats. There's no stains, rips or tears in them. Um, the vehicle is fitted with six airbags so you and your passengers are nice and safe while you're getting down the road as well. Alright, so in summary, that's a stunning example of the 2010 Mitsubishi GLR Triton. Two-wheel drive, four-speed auto, 137,000 kilometres on the clock, presents beautifully, lots of extras with the nudge bar, the canopy, does present extremely well. One thing we didn't note, the vehicle has been fitted with a reverse camera as well, so makes hooking up that trailer nice and easy. Give us a call today on 9907 555. Thank you for watching.